Well, it seems pretty clear to me that Google has sent henchmen after me. Uh, they're deleting comments. They're doing messing with my email. They're sending people to argue. Uh, listen, I don't argue. Uh, if you haven't found that out already, uh, well, you might not have because now this is a new channel and you may not have been one of my former subscribers. But I'm not going to argue. If the Lord gave me a message saying, once saved, always saved, is a lie from the pit of hell, I will correct you once and tell you that. You come back, you're blocked. I, that's not running away from the truth. That's not, I mean, I don't have time or energy to argue the lies of the devil. That's what I got on YouTube to do, is to dispel the lies of the devil. Now, if you very nicely say, listen, I was brought up this way, and I, I just, I can't grasp how anything we do can possibly help us get into heaven. See, all I can tell you is you haven't read the whole New Testament, or you haven't been taught it. All those scriptures, the one I put up on Matthew 5 alone, what Jesus said to do and not to do, you cannot sin and think you're going to heaven because you won't. You have to be holy. Nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have to repent of your sins. You have to do the works that he has called you to do. Read Ephesians 2.10. The people who believe in once saved, always saved, or Calvinism, where you've been predestined to be a Christian. Right. That only means the Lord knew before you were born how you were going to choose, whether you were going to end up choosing him or not, and he let you be born anyway to give you a chance. Listen. He is not going to force himself on you. He's not going to make you change your mind. He's not going to make you listen to anybody on here. We're, some of us are called to do uh, prophecy. Some are called, I, I know I was called to dispel the lies of the devil. That's why I called my bit shoot channel Truther. The truth. I'm here to tell you the truth. If you don't want to listen to it, don't listen to it. But Jesus said, Whatsoever you do to the least of thy brethren, do. That's an action word. You give a cup of water to a little child, you are blessed. And it's as if you gave a cup of water to the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Imagine buying a, a Happy Meal or something akin for an adult that's saying, We'll work for food. Well, maybe you don't have a lot of money or all you have is a debit card and McDonald's takes them now. I think all the drive throughs do. You can go buy that person a meal. Include the fries in a drink and take it to them. I don't care what they're begging for money for. They're probably hungry and you'll be blessed. That's a good deed. Now, if every time you pass one of those people and go, I'm not helping him. I know he's just collecting up for drugs or alcohol. That's what a lot of people think. And in many cases, it's true. But you just passed up the Lord Jesus Christ, who might have just been dressed as a homeless person wanting food. You don't know their heart. You don't know who that was. Could have been an angel. The Bible says... Uh, be careful because you might be entertaining angels unawares. They can walk among us as a human dressed as a homeless person. Or there was that one video where the pastor of the church dressed like a homeless person. And sat his, got him a buggy, filled it with old looking stuff, parked it by a pole in front of the church. And had a sign, I don't know what if it said, work, we'll work for food, or I'm hungry, I don't know. And he was just sitting on the concrete, leaning against the pole, as the church started getting to 
church and people ca came up to him and they tried to, uh, they all gave uh, whatever they could. I don't know whatever they could. They gave something and said, Can, let me tell you about Jesus. And next thing you know, the congregation's waiting and they're looking around and that preacher walks in dressed as that homeless man and they're like, what is he doing? He's going up to the altar. You know, I mean, I don't know. You can't see their faces because the camera is behind. The pastor had it all set up. And he goes to the front and he pulls off his costume, you know, and he says, I wanted to see how my church would do if they ran into somebody homeless. He said, you all pass with flying colors. And they praised the Lord and it was awesome. It's on YouTube, and they haven't taken that down, but I doubt they took that down. You might try searching pastor pretends to be homeless <clears throat> in front of his church. Okay, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> it's an awesome video. But you see, he was teaching them. Well, we got to help the homeless. We got to help the poor. We got to help one another. The two commandments we were given are to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus went on to teach who was my neighbor and gave the parable of the Samaritan, the good Samaritan who helped the beaten up man in the road where the priest and Levite who had to tend to the temple duties, they couldn't get their hands dirty. So they had to go around him and just leave him laying in the road. And Jews didn't fellow, fellowship or have anything to do with Samaritans or they them. But he helped that man. He put him on his donkey, took him to a hotel or an inn, paid so much, said, when I come back through, if he's racked up more bill, I'll pay that. That's helping your neighbor. That is doing good works. The two commandments did not include, do not do good works or you'll be trampling on the blood sacrifice that I provided for you. And it is enough. All you need is faith and belief in me. That's not a commandment. That's a made up doctrine from the pit of hell. So get it through your head. Once saved, always saved is not a truth. It's a made up lie. Just like what's going on around the world right now. And even the PCR tests are being pulled by the CDC. Oh, but not till December 31st. Because they can't distinguish between... I might be saying too much, so I better shut my mouth. Just talking about truths and lies, that's all. I reckon I said enough. I could preach for an hour on this subject. There's so many scriptures that refute once saved, always saved, or Calvinism. You got to do good deeds. You better be doing good deeds. You better be repenting of your sins. Nothing unholy will enter the kingdom of God. And nobody is promised another day. Not one soul is promised another day. You understand? Two messages I've put up lately. Prophetic messages saying many folks are about to die. They're dying now and many more will. And that we're, even the first fruit, barley harvest is going to start to see, going to start to see a lot of sad things before we're out of here. And I have a feeling I know what it is. When you live in a senior care facility and you're only one of two people that did not take the specified medication. 
Well, what do you think I'm going to see? I've already seen some. Not in front of my eyes. They're no longer here. All right, I better shut up with that. Dear God, please let this video go up. I plead the blood of Jesus over it. I didn't tell anybody not to take specified medication, now did I? You all should know by now what to do or what you should do, what you shouldn't do, whatever. Just treat others as if they were Jesus. Please understand that. There's so many hurting people. Oh, what else I want to say? I can't say it. It'd have to go on a bit shoot. Just don't touch them if they've had bad decision making skills. Let's just say that. Don't hug on them. Or let them breathe on you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, this internet connection, over each and every one of us and our devices. And with that, I say, I pray for everybody who sees this video, and I pray you'll pass it on. Share it. Folks need to know this. There's way too many coming from denominations that believe this false doctrine, and they need to know better. And they need to know why. Thank you very much for considering it. Please like and share. That will help. If you just like and share Facebook. If you've got Facebook or Twitter or anything like that that makes it real easy for you to just click share and click one of those things or email it to a friend that you think believes that way. Somebody's got to tell them. Not everybody watches YouTube. Certainly not my channel. Not this one. Alright. So with that, it's bye for now. I'll talk to you later.